First time I met Gloria, I had come to Bellevue for my freshman year. Gloria is the reason Jerry Mosser is here. She's the one that saw it in the paper. She made Coach go to a headhunter and required that Coach went to the actual interview. Okay, so she's the reason that this all happened. We all showed up. Coach says to this day that had he met us before he signed the contract, he'd have never signed the contract. We were a pretty much a motley crew, a bunch of guys that looked like they cut their own hair because some of us did cut our own hair. What I remember was that Coach, as he normally is in a new setting, was quiet. Gloria wasn't. Gloria initiated communication with us. She wanted to know about us. She wanted to know who we were, what we were interested in. And that always set with me. I know Gloria Mosser from when April in 2006, her husband, Jerry Mosser, hired me as the next head volleyball coach here at Bellevue University. She is the sidekick to Jerry Mosser, who was the athletic director here. They were a team as a marriage. They still are. They are a team when it comes to things for Bellevue University, which is the second family. When we say things here at Bellevue University that we are a family, I would say that Gloria started all that. There wasn't a job she didn't do. The strength of their relationship, she knew who in the program who was boss, and it was coach. And she deferred to him and never upstaged him. She may have had an opinion in his ear the, as soon as they got in the car to drive home, but she understood Coach couldn't do all of this by himself. All of the things that she's initiated to bring us together have set a foundation for people to feel that this program was truly theirs. We all know what Coach did. What we don't always know are the, are the contributions that she made. She still comes to things. She wants to know how the sports are. She follows on the website. To still have that dedication and that love for what took place here when they came here and started everything, I think it's pretty amazing to have a wife of an employee here that still follows everything. We all knew what Coach had to do. And we saw what Gloria brought to the table. She served in so many capacities. Before any talk of a Hall of Fame, she would organize alumni events, and she would do that for Coach. And this goes back decades. She was a marketer. She was a worker. She ran concessions. She washed uniforms. She cleaned the gym in Coach's office at times. So without her in it, it seems a little uh, empty to where we need to have this one more person to finish off what was the beginning of Bellevue University Athletics. Gloria is so dedicated to this scholarship with her and her husband. She wants to know who this scholarship is being given to. She is so happy to help them with this money, this support. To this day, she still gets very emotional on these things and she might be even getting emotional right now listening to this video because you know how much passion she has had for this school and for this athletic department. It becomes your second family and the second family has still been a part of their lives. So I think that's absolutely wonderful and it's a testament to her and her passion for what she wants to do, and that's to still help people. That foundational element of someone who never looked for recognition, didn't do it for accolades. She did it out of devotion to Jerry and out of devotion to us. Gloria Mosser, it is my pleasure to be your friend and your supporter for all of the things that you have done for both me and my family but I want to congratulate you today on your Hall of Fame award. Congratulations. Gloria, Mary and I congratulate you. We all know that Coach was our first inductee. I've always felt that you should have been the second inductee. Congratulations. We love you. I hope you're having a great night.
I had to write it down. It, it's going to be short, not as short as Amanda's, but anyway, because I've been here 52 years, so thank you, and I watched you play too. So anyway, I just want to thank everybody, and then I'll go off my things, and I said I never realized, I, Trish, are you ready? <laughs> Trish is going to read this if I can't get through it. Uh, that I would never do this. <sighs> Sorry, Julie. <laughs> First of all, I would like to express my appreciation to the Hall of Fame committee, all the past Hall of Fame inductees that allowed me to receive this amazing award. I was totally shocked, and I realized that when I got the congratulation letter, it just couldn't be me. To Kevin and Trish, thanks for all the compliments. I didn't know you were going to do this. Coming for both of you about my, my numerous, I guess, endeavors that I uh, accomplished to allow me to be able to receive this award. I have no stats. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, next, I want to thank my family who are sitting right here, my second family. I brought my purple thing up here. I'll have to take it home and wash it. My second family back there, Harold with them. And I also want to thank all of my other family that I'll get to in a little bit. And past Bruin athletes and their families that are in attendance tonight for putting up with me, for me hounding them for 52 years to either buy shirts, buy flags, buy plants, buy golf signs, play golf, and numerous other things, and hopefully they understood that it was for the best of the university. Thanks also, I have to say this, I told him I would, to Tim Studite, I'll get you later, from coming all the way from North Carolina to be here. I also want to mention and will the following two players please stand up? Two players from the 2003-2004 uh, basketball team. Will Jared and T.O. please stand up? I pick them out of many, 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 many thousands of stories that I could tell. Theirs is the cleanest. <laughs> so partly, I will not tell you the other part of it, but partly theirs is the cleanest. I would like to share this story with you, and I want them to be recognized. Thanks to my own, thanks to them, I owned my personal parking space at Ashland Park Robbins. However, with their help, I did with all the cans, which made me help me purchase our new playground for Ashland Park. I guess I have to forgive them. And by the way, you never deserved your A's I give you in practicum because two, a year and a half after they were at with me, I found out they were the ones that almost got me fired because my principal, who was my student teacher, got complaints that I had my own parking spot and nobody else did. They worked for OPS that summer and loved the adventure of put party, putting my name Monsters parking lot space only. <laughs> Stays up, stay up. Last of all, I want everybody else to join me. My family, stand up. Jerry, Joel, Julie, Logan, and my significant others. Harold, stand up. All the past. I'll get the all the past Bruin families that have put up with me for the last 52 years stand up that are still my kids and my extended family. Come on, that, in that corner too. Past athletes, I need the baseball, basketball team up. And anyone else that had to put up with me during those 52 years here at Bellevue University. So if I missed you, please stand up anyway. Trish, Ron, Ed, anybody else I missed? And the parents of the basketball team, they had to put up with me for years also. Todd, Andrea, come on, get up.
And I want to also say thank you to all of these people. And remember, once a Bruin, always a Bruin. I have my Bruin shirt. It's not.